Okay, we're officially in lesson two now. This is 2a, and we're going to be adding and subtracting whole numbers. We now know that whole numbers are counting numbers. No fractions or decimals allowed, right? I've said that a couple times now. And we can add whole numbers to combine quantities or to get a total. So in an addition problem, the numbers we add together are the add-ends, and the answer is the sum. We line up each digit of the numbers so their place values are the same. I'm starting from the ones place value on the right side. So to add 234 plus 112, this is in number sentence form, we can do it in vertical form and stack them. We stack the 4 on top of the 2 because those are the ones place, see? The 3 on top of that 1 because that's the tens place, and the 2 on top of that one because that's the hundreds place. And we just add them, starting with the ones place. 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So now it's in vertical form. We just begin adding from the ones place and then move to the next place value and the next place value to add, okay? And when a column of digits has a sum greater than 9, we regroup to the next place value. So here we have 100, 8 tens, and 7 ones, and we want to add 3 tens and 4 ones. So we have 187, and we want to add 34. So what we do is we add the ones place. 7 plus 4 is 11. But, hmm, there's only one digit allowed in each place value. We can't put an 11 into this box. It can only be one digit. And 11 is 1, 10, and 1, 1. So we regroup this 10 to the tens place. We have 7 plus 4 is 11. We give the 10 to the tens place, and we put the 1 in the ones place. Now we can add the tens, starting with the largest number, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup it again, because we can't put a 12 in here. We put the 1 up here and the 2 down here, and now we add the hundreds. We have 221. So what's happening is we had this 187, and we were adding this 34 to it. What we did was we took three of these ones and moved it up here so we don't have seven ones anymore. We've got a 10. See? It's the same length as these 10s. See how it looks the same? See? So now we don't have eight 10s anymore, do we? And... We've got one, one. See that? Now we can take this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, and we can move one of them up here. And instead of nine tens, if I shove them all together, we have ten tens, we have another hundred. So now we have 100, 200, two tens, and a one. Two hundreds, two tens, and a one. See? So by regrouping, we were just rearranging the grouping. Okay? We can do the same thing with subtraction. The first number is called the menu end, and the number we're taking away is called the subtrahend, and the answer is called the difference. And we can use subtraction to find the difference between two numbers. I'm going to write the numbers in vertical form again with the place values correctly lined up. So if we have 234 and we're taking away 112, we stack them up. Hundreds over hundreds, tens over tens, ones over ones. And we have four, starting with the ones place. We have four and take away two, we have a two. For the tens place, we have three tens, take away one ten, that's two tens. We have two hundreds, take away one hundred, that's one hundred. So our difference, our answer, is 122. Now the tricky part comes in when the bottom number is larger than the top number. We need to ask the next largest place value to regroup and give that needy place value some digits. Okay, So if we have 212 and we're taking away 48, so I have 100, 200, 10, and two more. That makes 12. We have 212, and we want to take away 48. Starting with the ones place, we have a 2 and need to take 8 away. We can't do that. But we could say to the tens, hey, can I borrow one? Well, he's going to say, oh, that's all I got. But okay, he becomes a 0 now. And instead of this being a 2, because it gave a 10 to it, we now have 12 ones. Now we have 12 take away 8, and that's a 4. But now we have 0 and need to take 4 away. 
So the tens say to the hundreds, hey, can I borrow one? He says, sure. So now he becomes a one, and instead of zero tens, we have ten tens. Ten tens make a hundred. So by taking one of these hundreds away, it gave ten tens to the tens column. See? I know it can sound confusing. Stick with me. We have ten, take away four, that's a six. And we're not taking away anything here. This two became a one, so we just dropped the one down. Okay, so here's what's happening. We got a difference of 164 between the two numbers. We have 212 counters here, and we need to take away 48. So what happened was we had two ones, and we needed to take eight ones away. So what the ones place did was it said, hey, instead of being a 10, can you be 10 ones? And so he got broken up into 10 ones. See? So now instead of 1, 10, and 2 ones. Now we have 12 ones. Now we can take 8 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And how many ones did that leave? 4. See? But then we needed to take 4 tens away. Well, all we have is 2 one hundreds, and we need to take 4 tens away. So we take away 1, 2, 3, 4. We take away these 4, and... We don't have a hundred anymore. We're left with, pardon my dog barking, we're left with six tens and one hundred. See? One hundred, six tens, and four ones. So all we did was borrow from the next place value and regroup it, okay? All right, so let's try doing this in equation vertical form. We've got 570,374, and we need to take away 86,000, we need to add 86,051. So we start with the ones place, 4 plus 1 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, so we can't put a 12 here, so we regroup and put the 1 from the 12 up here and the 2 down here. 3 and 1 is 4, with 0 it's still 4, right? We put our comma in a nice pretty column coming down. 0 and 6 is 6. 7 plus 8. Well, 7 plus 7 is 14, so 7 plus 8 must be 15, right? Does that make sense? Put the 1 up here and the 5 here, and 1 plus 5 is 6. We have 656,425, all right? So when it gets to be too much, just put it over to the next one, okay? All right. Now we have a subtraction one, and we're going to have to regroup. So we start with the ones place. We've got a one take away a one. That's easy. That's a zero. Now we have a two take away a three, and we can't do that. So he says, hey, four, can I have one? Four says, sure. He becomes a three. He gives one to the tens place. Now we have 12 take away three. We can do that. That's a nine. But now we have three take away eight. So we have to borrow again. Hey, six, can we have one? Sure. He becomes a five, and the three becomes a 13. Now we have 13 take away eight. Well, we can do that. That's a five. We put our comma here. We have a five take away a four. That's a one. And we have a one take away a one. That's a zero. So our difference is 1,590. Okay? Now, if you see this one, it's got an asterisk, and there's a reason for that. We can combine place values to subtract, all right? So if we have 604 and we're taking away 52, we can do it this way, which is a little slower. 4 take away 2 is 2. 0 take away 5, we can't, so we have to regroup. That becomes a 5. That becomes a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5. And then we drop the 5 down. So that's the slow way. Combining place values is a quicker way. We start with the ones place, 4 take away 2 is 2, that's easy, but instead of saying 0 take away 5, we say 60 take away 5. And if you're good with your 5 times table and skip counting by 5, you know that's 55. And that's a lot easier to do mental math than having to regroup and doing it that way, see? I'll show you again. Now we have 200 minus 49. If we do it the old way... We say, oh, we have zero, we need to take nine away. We can't. And 
we can't borrow it from the tens place because that's zero. So now we have to keep going to the next place value and go to the two and it becomes a one. And now this zero becomes a 10. Now the ones place can borrow from the 10. So that 10 becomes a nine and now that becomes a 10. Oh, now we have 10 take away nine, that's a one. Nine take away four, that's a five. And we bring our one down, it's 151. Now, if you get really good at this, you know that one less than 200 is 199. And one less than 20 is 19, isn't it? So this can become a 19 and that can become a 10, which is basically what we did here, but we're going a lot quicker because we're combining these place values. Instead of looking at this as a 200, we're looking at it as a 20 and a zero. That becomes a 19. The 20 becomes a 19, and it gives 1 to the tens place. 10 take away 9 is 1. 19 take away 4 is 15. See? So sometimes doing it that way is a lot quicker, all right? You can get really good at it in practice, but there's a link to that video in this description, okay? It's grade 3 math 1.11, and I'll show you in a second. You should now be ready to do the GED math focus, math skill uh, focus on page 43, okay? I want you to keep in mind that on a calculator, we enter the digits in the same order as in the equation. So if you're doing this, which would be quicker to do on a calculator than mentally, or this one, you enter 6, and then enter 0, then enter the 4, then hit the subtraction sign, then enter the 5, enter the 2, and the equal sign, okay? Keep in mind that sometimes mental math is faster than using a calculator. If you needed to add 200 plus 200, that's easy. That's 400. You could do that in your head a lot quicker than typing in a 200 plus a 200 equals. It's much quicker in your head, okay? Our next video is multiplying and dividing whole numbers, and we'll be regrouping them. That's lesson 2B. If you need more help, always check the description of the videos. There's going to be addition and regrouping help and subtraction and regrouping help from grade two math with some basic uh, three digit numbers and grade three math, same thing. And here's that combining place values one and even grade four math videos 1.6 and 1.7. So there'll be links to those in this description. All right. If you do the skill focus on page 43 and you're still having trouble, watch this video again or go in the description and watch those easier videos okay it might just make a light bulb come over your head when you see an easier video and you say oh i can put this into perspective with a harder video now okay you'll be fine stick with me we'll go to 2b next bye